One of the things that we've been working on recently is looking at glass bottles and pint glasses which are used as weapons of convenience quite often in bars and in clubs where there's alcohol involved in the crime. What we've been doing is we've been working with um, a glass technology company, Glass Technology Services, and we're trying to understand how all these factors of design, wall thickness, residual stresses that are in the glass from the toughening processes contribute to the way in which the glass fractures. And the ultimate aim of the research is to be able to design bottles and glasses that fracture to fail safely, so that if somebody tries to use them as a weapon of convenience, essentially they've just crumbled or they've left points on the glass which aren't particularly sharp, so they do less damage. I think for me it's about finding out more about things that we don't know. So one of the things when I was at school, you would always be told, oh, you'll find that out later, or you'll find that out when you do A-levels, or you'll find that out when you do your degree. And I was never very satisfied with that as an answer. And I think now, when something comes along and we don't know the answer, I can say, well, what tools do we have at our disposal that mean that we can investigate that and better understand the answer so that we do know how it's happened, or we do understand how much force was involved. And we can't always tell everything, but the things that we can't become the next research topic in some way. So I think it's always discovering things and it's always moving the field forward. And I think that's what really excites me about my research.